Hello and welcome to Food Tech 101. Hello and welcome to Food Tech 101. Today we're going to make goujons. Now goujons can come in different forms. They're pretty much like fingers coated in breadcrumbs. Yeah, that's pretty much, goujons is like the fancy name for it. You can have chicken goujons or you can have fish goujons. We can even have vegetarian goujons. Today, I'm going to use fish. I'm going to make some fish goujons. Um, so I've got uh, three, main ingredients, three main ingredients, it's pretty straightforward. I've got some fish here, which I'm going to slice up. I've got some egg, I've got some breadcrumbs, and I've got a tray to, break it, to bake it on. I'm going to go through the cutting in just a second. Uh, the egg today we're using, is not, we're using the egg for its function. Now the function of egg in this particular dish is to use as a glue. The egg uh, sticks to the outside of the fish, which sticks the breadcrumbs on, um, and then it can bake. So the function of the egg is to use as a glue. The breadcrumbs add some texture on the outside. To make the breadcrumbs quite straightforward, all you do is you blitz them in a food processor. To this particular breadcrumb, they've added some seasoning, uh, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of curry powder to give it a nice little bit of a, an interesting flavour. And that's quite. That's all we have to do. So all I'm going to do now is chop up our fish into into finger-sized portions. I'm going to dip in the bread in the egg in the breadcrumbs onto the tray. Now to do this, we're using uh, fresh fish. So it's, it's, in essence, it's raw. I just want fairly fat fingers. So before grip, slightly not as intense claw grip. You'll have to really apply some pressure because raw meat uh, can be a little bit difficult to cut. Again, what you're aiming for is if possible to try and have all your fingers, all your different pieces, roughly speaking, the same size. If they're all the same size, that means they'll all cook at about the same rate. If we have some which are very small and some which are very fat, while the very fat ones are still trying to cook all the way through, some of the small ones might be burning. So it's important that we try and keep them all about the same size. So, some of you may notice that I'm using a red chopping board. Whenever we prepare meat, as far as it's practical, try and use a red chopping board for meat. That's the correct board to use. Often in the school, they don't necessarily have enough you to have every student to have uh, a red chopping board each. But in that case, um, the chopping boards will most likely have been disinfected in order for you to use. It's important that we use a different chopping board if we're using vegetables in the same dish to avoid cross-contamination. So, I've got my fingers, they're all roughly speaking the same size. And the next part I'm going to do, I'm going to take one of my fingers, my fish fingers, uh, and I'm going to dip it in the egg, try and scrape off some of the excess, coat in breadcrumbs, and pop it onto a tray. Just like that. And I'm going to do it again, repeat for all of them, and we'll come back to where we're ready to bake it. So here we have them. We have our fish goujons. They're nicely coated. Most of them are the same size. One, there's one little straggly bit at the end, so rather than waste ingredients, coat that one as well. But roughly speaking, about the same size, and now all we're going to do is put them in the oven. Now, of course, we could deep fry them. That also works very well to crisp them up. But it takes a lot of, a lot of fat, and if you have 20 kids inside of a classroom all using uh, pans with hot fat in it, it's not the most practical thing to do. But also, by using the oven, it's significantly healthier because you don't really have to use any additional fat whatsoever. They'll just crisp up perfectly in the oven. So I'm going to put this in the oven, and it'll take about uh, 12 to 15 minutes to crisp up and cook all the way through. And we'll uh, take them out and see what we like uh, when we're finished. And here we have finished product. Crispy goujons. We break them open. You can see they're nicely cooked all the way through. Nice crispy crunchy crumbs, breadcrumbs on the outside. That's what we're looking for. So thank you for joining me at Food Tech 101. If you like what you see, don't forget to share and hit the subscribe button to be notified of the latest videos. My name is Mr. Lyberg. You can call me.
Thanks, sir.